Welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2018 and a half Cardinal Explorer 378 LF model. This is the mid bunk model, has four slide outs on it. We're going to take a few minutes and walk here on the outside and inside. On the front of the camper, you have a really nice sloped and notched out fiberglass cap here so it gives it better turning radius and also better wind aerodynamics but they notched out these corners here put in nice little decorative LED light to basically give it a better turning radius on a short bed truck standard kingpin hitch box aftermarket wise you can upgrade to the more ride or trail air if you wanted to you have electric level up so you got two electric jacks on the front. This was ordered with the electric auto level system, so it has two in the middle and two also in the rear of the coach. So you just basically hit a button and the camper will auto level by itself. It is the electric system, not the hydraulic system used on the Explorer version. You have a power awning, and it does have the manual crank also in case of failure you can manually crank it in and out you have two outdoor speakers here a place for a TV to go right there single 30 pound propane tank on this side and one on the other side you've got a nice large pass-through storage compartment here there are TV hookups here so you have your outlet for your cable and stuff also an electric outlet here by the light you have another electric outlet on this side of the compartment and you have your battery disconnect and some heat ventilation stuff down here. Down below is a propane hookup if you wanted to plug in a portable grill. But you can also see nice full enclosed underbelly. Has the 10 gallon gas and electric water heater. This has the upgraded more ride entry step, so it's able to hold more weight. It's more sturdy because it comes down and touches the ground, so there's less shaking going in and out of the camper. And it basically just flips up inside the door when you're ready to travel. You've got a screen door and nice large radius wide entry door with the window built in. Large folding entry handle to help you get in and out. They do a really nice job on their construction. It's aluminum framed, fiberglass vacuum bonded construction. Very nice, strong, even the sides of their slide outs are vacuum bonded. Nice and strong uh, compared to a hollow style fiberglass. It's got the upgraded Moride suspension there in between the wheels. It's the Moride 3000. 16 inch wheels. I'll get into the specs on those when we get around to the other side. Got deep tent safety glass windows. You have a nice arch crown to the roof for better water runoff. Has gutters that run down both sides of the camper. Standard four inch square tube bumper. And if you want, you could do like an optional bike rack. It actually mounts onto these little brackets here. Uh, some people choose to do like a portable grill back here in this area also. There's LED taillights back here. Spare tire mounted to the bumper. It's pre-wired for a backup camera up there in the middle. And you've got a nice ladder here to get up and down off the coach. 50 amp power cord plugs in back here. Also notice it's got the little pistol grip to it so it actually comes out in edge it kind of 90s instead of just the straight out version that ends up bending over time. 3 slides on this side. Little antenna for the radio there. You can see your dump area right down there. You 
when the slides are closed you can just reach in to get to one of the handles right there you have your docking station up here which has your other gray and black tank handle here and you have your hot and cold water hookups for outside shower um, fresh water black tank flush bypass stuff is all located right here they do have little tie down things here too if you need to help strap something down that's pretty nice got shocks on this door just so that it doesn't damage the slide out or vice versa and it does have the slam lock baggage doors here behind this little door here is the other propane tank has a little area you could padlock it if you want and then your pressure regulator back there again auto level system on this so you got some instructions here controls here some more stuff inside portable solar panel plug in here and then this is the sticker that basically tells your production dates and stuff this camper was built 1-5 of 18 this has 7,000 pound axles 235 80R16 G range tires it's a nice upgrade because most campers at this price point usually have E's or F's but they actually use G's here uh, that basically puts you up to 110 PSI Gross vehicle weight of the camper is 16,374 pounds. That's the most you can load it to before you break something, or possibly break something. And I'll show you the dry weight when we actually get around to that side. In that front section there, you also have a little more storage and battery compartment. But going on up into the coach here, a lot of these manufacturers now have started posting some weight stickers here also. These are, let's see, gross vehicle weight was on the other one. This one tells me my carrying capacity, 3,382 pounds. Stepping up into the camper, kind of looking toward the rear of the coach. We've got some light switches here on the wall. Got a nice island kitchen. We have a freestanding table and chairs with an extension on it. It has two standard chairs with a little bit of storage in them. And then there's two fold-up chairs that are up in the front closet. Nice decorative lights up above. Nice big windows overlooking your campsite. This unit was ordered with the theater seat, so you have reclining chairs here basically. A little cup holder and a little bit of storage built in there. On the windows, they have the pull down roller shades. Nice big back sofa. This folds out to a big bed. Some overhead cabinetry here. Got nice large handles. Pretty good depth to the cabinet. Goes all the way across. Electric fireplace. That is basically an electric heater with some fancy lights. Then here you have the Furion radio system. So this is a AM, FM, CD, DVD player, all built into one. Does have Bluetooth. The flat screen is on a swing arm, so you can actually angle that back toward the couch if you want, if you're laying on the couch. Got some overhead cabinetry. Ceiling fan. You have ducted air throughout the coach. Nice LED lights throughout the ceiling here. There is also a fan, exhaust fan up there in the ceiling. You have speakers. There's four speakers in this area for the radio. 
nice vinyl floor heat's ducted through the floor here large pantry area there is also a light up here too this has the new Furion oven which has the light inside the oven it's a glass front door has the little LED lights on the knobs too so it's a neat little upgrade but uh, the main purpose for the Furion oven being a little bit better the glass door is actually a better insulator than the old versions as far as being able to cook a little bit better the way the door is built and you can also kind of see in there without having to open the door to kind of look and check on things and you have a nice glass top here three burner stove top large 30 inch microwave in the island you have four drawers these are full extending ball bearing drawer guides you have storage below the sink area here you could do a trash can on the left there if you wanted You've got pretty good depth, dual sink, nice little wood cutting board, pull out sprayer faucet. These are the LG HiMac countertops here on the island part. Huge refrigerator, 21 cubic foot fridge. Basically, freezer pulls out on the bottom, refrigerator on top. This is the residential refrigerator. So this works off of electricity while you're plugged in. And then it has an inverter that powers it while you're traveling down the road. And basically runs off your battery power at that point. The battery is being charged when you're plugged into electric. Most trucks also have a 12-volt wire that is charging the batteries while you're traveling down the road. So that is trying to juice things up as your refrigerator is trying to drain it. So it does pretty well. In the mid-bunk area here, you have a nice large sofa. Folds out to a bed with a bunk over top. That bunk actually flips up. So you got more headroom to sit. And there is a little table with some poles that will attach down here. So the kids can sit up, play games, or do whatever. They can even sit in there and eat if they want. Some coat hooks. Nice size TV area there. Some cabinetry in here. This has a little coat uh, closet holder there. Be sure to check out Couches RV Nation. They are one of the largest wholesale RV dealers in the country. It will definitely save you money on your next RV. You can check them out at CouchesRVNation.com. This is a open and close for the fan up there and an on-off switch. The downstairs digital thermostat for the air conditioner down here and the furnace. And there's another thermostat for the second air up in the bedroom area. But you got a nice little closet here when you first enter the camper. We've got a little ladder here, grab handle, light switch, got a little step light switch down there. No carpet on the steps, which is really nice so it don't look all worn out down the road. Got a little loft. Also have a nice arch to the ceiling here, which gives you an extra probably about two inches of height in the middle section here. But there's TV hookups over there, light switch here. It's a good little loft area here, nice size bed. And here you have some controls, another light switch, ceiling fan on off switch here. Uh, got some 
awning in and out buttons, slide out buttons, uh, water heater, water pump, the water heater electric switch is outside on the water heater, and then you have the uh, little My RV control center here, which basically is for your auto level jack system to kind of control that. Monitor panels for your holding tanks and battery condition. So kind of a little centralized area here. Got a good sized bathroom. Four drawers, a couple cabinet areas there. Nice sliding glass door. And if you've got a small child, uh, you do have a pretty decent sized little bathtub area here. It's a few inches deep, but uh, if you've got a small child, it's definitely a good little bathing area for them. Into the bedroom area. Got four dresser drawers. Window, which is also an emergency exit window. Could do a nice flat screen TV there if you want. Your TV antenna rotating handle is right there. It doesn't crank up and down anymore. It just rotates. It hovers uh, about uh, probably about 8 inches off the roof there. The second air conditioner here. And the controls for the second air conditioner are right back here by the bed. You have an electric outlet down there. Light switch. This has the Camper King. So you got a nice size bed, decorative pillows. The bed does raise up, has some storage underneath. It's good for blankets or maybe a couple extra pillows or something. Plenty of room to get around the bedroom area here. Got a, another little closet area here with some shelves. Washer dryer prep area. If you do a washer dryer, you could do a stackable here. But it's basically a couple electric outlets back there, your water lines back there. Those are your folding chairs for the dinette. Hanging closet. If you don't want to do the washer dryer part of it. And on that side, more closet space. Electric outlet on that side of the bed. Again, my name is Ray. If you have any questions, I will definitely be glad to help you. Feel free to give me a call. I am one of the salespeople at Couches RV Nation. My uh, toll-free number is 888-417-8299. My direct extension is 203. Again, I'm Ray with Couches RV Nation. Thanks for checking out one of my videos. Be sure to give me a call.